Okay, today I'm going to be putting magic sand in my vacuum chamber. So magic sand is sand that has been coated with a hydrophobic substance. So hydrophobic means that this is coated with a chemical that avoids water. It's a non-polar chemical, meaning that it doesn't have parts of the molecule that have strong electrical charges. And so when you pour it in water, it has a tendency to want to clump together. So normal sand, when you pour it in water, you know what happens, it just kind of spreads out. But here's what happens when you put magic sand in water. So cool. <laughs> so even when you try to touch it in here, you can hold it in your hand. It stays clumped together. So the coolest thing is once you pull it out, it's just sand again. It's so weird. <laughs> so before I put it in the vacuum chamber, let me explain why it's acting like this and see if you can predict what's going to happen in the vacuum chamber. So the reason that it clumps together is because all of the sand is hydrophobic, it wants to avoid water, but it will attract air. And so you can see that there's kind of a shimmer to this, especially if I tilt it a little bit. There's kind of a shimmer that you can see. And that is due to there being essentially a bubble of air around all of the sand. So you can kind of see how shimmery that is on top. That's air. So because it has a perfectly fitting bubble around it, the surface tension of the water keeps the sand clumped together. So the question is, what will happen if I put the magic sand in the vacuum chamber? It's an awesome effect. This is a really cool video. Okay, let's go ahead and pour some magic sand in. Okay, here's where you get to guess what will happen. So what do you think will happen when I put the magic sand under vacuum? And then what do you think will happen when I release the pressure? Okay, let's watch together what happens. Three, two, one. So immediately you start seeing the bubbles coming off the magic sand. So that's the air I was talking about that was trapped around the sand. We're at half an atmosphere already. You can see how shiny it is too. The shininess actually comes from the different refractive indices of the water and the air, so the light reflects off of it. Okay, we're at about 0.1 atmospheres. I'm starting to see a lot of the dissolved air also coming out of the water. So a lot of the dissolved air is still coming out. It might be starting to boil a little bit too. We're at less than 0.01 atmospheres. So the air is still rapidly coming off of there. But mind you, this is at a very low pressure, so there's nowhere near the amount of air that was around it as before. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit here for about five to 10 more minutes and bubble off the remainder of the air that it can. Let's come back and see what it looks like. Another cool thing to notice, notice that it's rapidly boiling at the top here, but at the bottom, it's not boiling. That's because the pressure of the water increases as we go down. And so at the bottom, it's not at the boiling point, but at the top, it is at the boiling point. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. You can see that it is still slowly bubbling. Um, I don't know how much longer I'll have to wait until that completely stops, but let's go ahead and shut off the vacuum chamber. Okay, under complete vacuum, it looks similar to how it looked in air, but let's let the air back in now and see what happens. Three, two, one.
So you can see the shimmer of it completely went away. It's not shiny anymore. So let's go ahead and touch it and see what happens. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it crumbles apart. So now, because we sucked out all of the air from it, it doesn't have that pocket of air coating it. And so the surface tension of the water doesn't keep it clumped together. It acts just like normal sand now under the water. So even when I pull it out of the water now, it's not dry but wet sand. So the water has been able to coat it now. So if I move it around in the air a lot, I can get the air back around it and squeeze out the water and then it forms those pockets again. So if I squeeze out the water from it, and then drop it back in there, it can now form that pocket of air around it and it keeps it clumped together. So this is some I let stay in there a little bit longer. You can see how it, how it almost loses the sand effect so it's really wet now. So you can wet hydrophobic sand with a vacuum chamber. See how it's wet? So this is a really interesting experiment. As soon as I saw this magic sand, I wanted to do this experiment. I thought this is what would happen, but I wasn't sure, but it's really cool to see it. So really what's keeping the water off of the hydrophobic sand is that pocket of air around it. As soon as you remove that, even though the sand still wants to repel the water, there's nothing that can be in between there. And so the water wets the sand almost. But as soon as you take it out of the water and expose it to air, then that layer of air can get in between there again and it can coat the sand so the water can't get in between there. So having a vacuum chamber is the only way to get your magic sand wet. So I got this sand for free. Banggoods.com sent it to me to do a video on it. It's really cool sand, really fun to play this. I think these are only two or three dollars a piece, maybe five dollars, but they're really fun to play with. I'll put a link in my description if you want to buy some. Hey, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for me, let me know in the comments section and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Hit that bell to be notified when the latest video comes out and I'll see you next time.